I am at your service for now. Hey guys, the Fire Brothers here. It's just me. My brother couldn't be here today, as always, because he's in a coma after watching the Prime Wars trilogy. Which I guess it's better than Madam Web, but that's still not saying much. Oh, and by the way, did you know that Madam Web was produced by Lorenzo D. Bonaventura, our favorite producer that's also producing the G.I. Joe crossover? Yeah, I know, the feature's f. But anyways, these are the jokes. Hopefully you guys are enjoying them. Except for the whole Lorenzo thing, that was actually true. For those of you guys who haven't watched yesterday's video, I go over the new info surrounding Transformers 9, which is the Rise of the Beast sequel, and the next movie we are getting after Transformers 1. That's either a really good thing or a really bad thing, depending on your point of view. So yeah, if you guys wanna, you know, be more up to date with the future of the live action movies and what's going on, check out yesterday's video. But today, I was gonna talk about Transformers 1 because we're gonna get some new info about the movie. Because while we still don't have the trailer for the Super Bowl, we were gonna get some new info today. Now the problem is that our trusted leaker, TF Hyde Guy or Marag as he goes on my Discord server, hasn't posted the info quite yet. And since I don't wanna wait all day for him to post the info, I'll just do the reactive video today and talk about the Transformers 1 news today. Tomorrow. So sorry you had to wait a little longer, but my man is probably out there celebrating Valentine's Day with his girl. A DVD copy of the Transformers Rise of the Beast movie. And while we're out there, happy Valentine's Day, I guess, if you celebrate that, if you don't, that's also cool. Um, no matter which side of the spectrum you fall on, I really do hope you have a nice day regardless. And from my anime waifu to yours, I wish you the best. And by the way, yes, I drew that and I'm super proud of how it came out. Follow me on Twitter. Anyways, that's enough fooling around, let's talk about Transformers Reactivate, because we actually have some big bombshells for it. And even actual gameplay, which I will be showcasing towards the end of this video, a little later in the video, so just bear with me for a second. So first off, let's talk about the trailer. Now, we have some new info on the trailer for Transformers Reactivate, the second trailer for a matter of fact. It's actually coming out and it's real. Um, this comes from Neither the Illuminati. Or the miscreant, surprisingly enough. This comes from a third party known as Transformers Generations. A guy on YouTube, who also goes by Sanders, has gotten quite a bit of info on Reactivate, right? He actually seems to have insider source. He also talks about other stuff like DC, Marvel, and has insider info on a lot of things. If you guys are interested in that kind of stuff, I also recommend checking his channel for that. He's also a huge Transformers nerd, so if he has Transformers news, he always mentions it first and foremost. Recently, he had a live Q&A. Uh, go to the comment section and tell him that the Fire Brother sent you. Well, he talked a lot about Transformers Reactivate, and in it, he mentioned the Reactivate second trailer. Now, he doesn't give us anything too concrete as to, you know, um, what exactly was in the trailer, or who appeared in it. He does give us hints, and he does say that the trailer is pretty much finished. Aside from some minor nitpicks here and there that still need to be ironed out, he said that the trailer is almost ready, like, as, as we speak, it's being finished. It could come out literally any day, any time. Apparently, he has seen the trailer, he said it was really really good and that it's really focused on one character. So like the first trailer where it was focused on the invasion and how everything goes to shit. In this trailer, it focuses on one character and according to him, he was portrayed in a very appropriate and good light. My guess is that he's talking about Optimus and again, it could be anyone because he doesn't give any specifics. But if you guys have been following my channel and the Reactivate news coverage that I do, you will know that we had a trailer number two that was also supposed to drop last year, but that one was scrapped. The lead it, cut, and we actually have this one screenshot from it where we see Megatron and Optimus in their reactive forms for the first time. Apparently the trailer that Sanders watched is not the same trailer, apparently a new second trailer was made completely from scratch. He doesn't give much specific info on it but he did say that it was actually a really good trailer. Now look, I have a lot of complaints about reactive personally and even splash damage but to be honest, so far something they have done right is the cinematic trailers. They do invoke that follow Savage and War for Savitron vibe, which I think it's crucial if you want to get those people on board with the game. And Sanders is a reliable source, like, This guy knows things. I don't know how he knows things, but he knows things. But something that we do know from the insider sources is that apparently Peter Colling and Will Friedle are actually confirmed to reprise their roles in the Transformers Reactivate game. Also, something to note, the trailer is apparently 3 minutes long. Now that's actually huge, because in case you guys don't know, the War for Sabaton and Follow Sabaton trailers respectively only barely, you know, make it to the 2 minute mark. So the fact that this is like an extra minute long, comparison to those trailers that are so iconic, honestly, it gets me kind of excited. 
Alright, so you, the question you guys are probably asking is when is the second trailer gonna come out? And well, the trailer right now it's being polished, it's being finished. It's like if I were to give it a score, you'll say 95% finish. It's literally almost to the finish line. Once it's done, it's gonna be sent to Hasbro, and we don't quite know when they're gonna release it. That's gonna be up to Hasbro so they can finally start their reactive marketing. Which, as you guys may know, we heard that it was gonna come out around spring. Or if you follow Robo Gamers' channel, spring. I am not letting that one go. So it's up to Hasbro. They could release it in a Hasbro Pulse event. They could release it at Game Fest. There's like so many places they could potentially release it at. But something else I wanna mention is that according to Sanders, the trailer is actually out there. Yes, you know how I keep telling you guys the react the reactive gameplay is out there. You just really need to look for it. According to Sanders, if people really wanted to, they could actually find the second trailer. The problem is that there's not that much interest for reactive at the moment because so little has been revealed, and unlike other fan bases like the MCU, Star Wars, and so on, where it ha has like you know full blown community of leakers, the reactive leaking community is way smaller. It's literally just the Miscreants, the Illuminati, and the few people that fall in between, like me and Sanders. So if you think you have what it takes, you can literally try and, I don't know, hunt down some people out there, check out the portfolio websites, their Behance art stations, and maybe you'll stumble upon something from the trailer, according to Sanders. But only if you look hard enough. So yeah, that's it for the trailer. If you think you have what it takes to hunt it down, be my guest. And send it to me on Discord, because I also want to see it. I, I swear, on like the gameplay, I haven't seen the trailer. Now, it's been a while since we have any relatively good news for Reactivate, but we have confirmation, thanks to RoboGee, about some new characters that are confirmed to be in the game. Now, uh, RoboGamer uploaded a video yesterday late at night. Thanks for that, Robo. You always drop stuff when I'm about to go to sleep, man. Now, according to RoboGamer, well, these guys don't have 3D models in the game just yet. They do have like files and name drops and stuff here and there that indicates that they are supposed to be involved in the story somehow. Maybe kind of like the Suicide Squad, which is going to introduce, you know, characters through later seasons. Yeah, I know, I hate that game, but isn't that game as a benchmark for reactivated? It's sadly accurate. So according to Robo, one of the interesting things he found in the file was the naming Snakebite. Now, Snakebite itself isn't exactly a Transformers character but it's the name of a mission in Transformers Earth Wars, where the character Sideswipe and Viper could be obtained. Now, according to Robo, apparently the abilities that he found in the game are more attributed to Viper himself and not so much Sideswipe. Now, another character which I know a lot of people are going to be really happy about, it's Beachcomber. Now, Beachcomber is usually a chill guy, especially in G1. Uh, he has a lot of fans. He's definitely a weird choice to add for this game, but, um... He has been found in the files. And the final character is Perceptor, a character that we haven't seen in Transformers games since Follow Sabatron, so having him back is actually kinda cool. Um, again, we don't have much info on how they look like or what abilities they have. Well, we have some info on the abilities, at least for Viper. You can check them out in Robo Gamers video. I'm not gonna like steal his whole video here. But it will be your standard typical, you know, flyer type of character ability in a Transformers game. And now for the big reveal of the video, and that is the new shot. Shockwave gameplay. Now, I did cover the newest gameplay in my previous video where I talked about whether Reactive is going to be dead on arrival if it ever comes out, which it kind of seems like a possibility that it will come out, but whether it it's meets a similar me. fate to Suicide Squad killed the Justice League that it's remains to be seen. At the end of Robo's video, he puts a small teaser to the Shockwave gameplay. He even puts a little Shockwave audio clip and you can hear him speak for the first time. That's actually going to be his voice in the game. I am at your service for now. So when we see like the little like teaser that Robo leaves here, we see what it appears to be, you know, uh, tank threads. Now this wouldn't be a big deal, we've seen those all the time, but the thing is that, I think this is like Shockwave concept art. He puts the little threads here and then a picture of G1 Shockwave. And the quality of the image, the texture, and the way these are, are very clearly different. So I think this is a small teaser to a future, you know, Shockwave concept art reveal. Similar to how we got in with the Reactive Soundwave concept art that leaked a while back. And at the end, we have probably our second or third best look at reactive gameplay ever, depending on how you want to phrase it. We see what it appears to be the Shockwave model. And we do know that Shockwave has like the tank threads in the back, so that's why I think this is him. And the whole thing is in black and white in this Fine Edge of Freddy style, you know, security camera to max the gameplay as best as he can. 
so that way his video doesn't get taken down. Cause that's, my, cause that's something that people don't seem to understand. If you post gameplay anywhere, especially clear gameplay, your video gets taken down. The safest bet is screenshots, and even then, you still need to fill them heavily, like Robo's doing right here, so you don't get taken down. It's kinda hard to see what exactly is going on here, but we do see that he's fighting some of the Legion enemies that we see in the trailer. Again, because of how heavily censored slash filtered this is, it's very hard to tell what's going on exactly, but we do see Shockwave use a similar move to what we saw Ratchet do in the last bit of gameplay we got earlier in the week. We can actually see Shockwave use these weird energon like daggers that we saw Ratchet also use like, against the Legion in the last bit of gameplay we got. So it looks like, you know, weapons is gonna be something that's gonna be shared through all the characters, kinda like in War for Savage on characters either had a maze, a sword, a dagger, and a side, and so on. So yeah, much like the previous gameplay, there's not much I can say here because of how blurry it is. But you know what? I'll take it. I'm honestly happy we're getting anything for Reactivate. I'm glad that we're getting stuff that's not just from the leaker that we're all actually, you know, very soon gonna get stuff for Reactivate. And considering that Transformers 1 is also gonna get its trailer very, very soon, don't worry, I'm gonna make that video on, on Transformers 1 tomorrow, as soon as TF Hype Guy posts the new info on Twitter. So look forward to that tomorrow when I do my inevitable Transformers 1 video. And if you guys haven't checked out the previous video talking about Transformers 9, the Rasu B sequel, link to it is gonna be in the description and in the comments down below. But yeah guys, that's pretty much it for our Reactivate news. I'll be honest, after the kind of pessimistic video they don't Reactivate, it's like, it's like I said, the Reactivate cycle keeps on happening. You know, I get excited because they reveal something, then nothing gets shown, then you know, I lose hope, and then it, we're back at it again by showing something and getting me excited. Again, I feel like a bad housewife getting abused by my partner, though my partner this time around is Transformers Reactivate. And partly Robo, but we don't talk about that. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Not the type of news I was expecting to get, much less in Valentine's Day. But you know what, I'll take it. And if you don't like Valentine's Day, I'm sure this made up your day a bit. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> I mean, that's the point of my videos, to cheer you up and keep you informed. But yeah, look forward to my newest video tomorrow. I want to pass on the question up to you guys. When can we expect the second trailer? Like, what event? Hasbro has full control of when they're going to release it. It could be a Game Fest, it could be in the Hasbro Pulse livestream, which we're getting soon. Or it could literally be around the same time we get the Transformers 1 trailer. And what do you think of the Shockwave gameplay and the new characters we're getting? I'll admit, Beachcomber is a weird choice. Not my first choice, but I can see Beachcomber fans being very happy about that. Viper is the really really weird choice though. Because out of the whole roster that we know it's confirmed for the game, I think he's the most obscure character so far. Stop being cowards and just give us sideways! But yeah guys, that's the end of this video. Hopefully you're having a wonderful day, regardless if you are with someone or alone. From my anime waifu to yours, I wish you the best. And don't forget to do that really cool thing known as like, commenting, and subscribing. Do all that annoying YouTuber stuff that the algorithm likes so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe, guys. Anyways, guys, before we go, shout out to our super incredible Patreons and channel members. Scout, James Newbold, Crawley666, TF Cypher, Legend of Soup, King Sparta, Crazy T-Rex, Orion64 Studios, Winso Winso, Inferno65, Super Sailor's Homer Hedgehogs, Xavier the God, Stage Productions, Scrub Lordo, and Predaking Hunter Plays. And also our channel members, Scrub Lordo, Optination Reviews, TF Cypher, Laser Sin, The Crazy T-Rex, and Lord Skyward. Thank you guys for your support, it's much appreciated. If you become a channel member or a patron, you get access to exclusive videos I haven't released yet. You get to collab with me in some of my videos if you so choose to, gain access to channel exclusive emojis, and a bunch of other stuff. You also get a shout out to your channel in the description down below, so be sure to check out those guys because a lot of them are up and coming YouTubers who need all the help they can get. But keep in mind this is entirely optional because freedom is the right of all sentient beings. Thank you guys for your support, it's much appreciated, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.